Hey, Mike. Hey, Jared. Why'd you send me this email? You're the advice guy, Mr. Know-it-all. It's your thing. Yeah, but I don't feel like I should be giving out relationship advice right now. I mean, you know what I'm going through. Jared, why do you think I sent it to you? Dear Mr. Know-it-all, I'm, um, I'm not sure what to say. So there's this guy in my life. Well, I guess he's more than that. We've been together for about, wow, three years now. I guess three years is surprising because usually at this point in a relationship, you would think you knew the other person pretty well. Maybe it's because it's so hard to get him to talk to me. I don't know what to do. How do I get him to hear me? Sincerely, Voiceless. Dear Voiceless, I know what it can be like to feel invisible. I'm sure we all feel that way sometimes. While we might get the same feelings, it doesn't mean we deal with them the same way. Is it possible that he also feels unheard? You might find that you need to initiate this conversation. Best wishes and good luck, Mr. Know-it-all. So I read your column. Yeah? What'd you think? It was terrible. I, I, I told you, I didn't want to write about relationships right now. Yeah, but you're Jared Drayback, Mr. Know-it-all. It's your job. That's why I can't. I, can't. I, I got no perspective, man. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Well, if you just let it keep piling up, it's going to be harder to deal with. Or you're going to have to just throw it all out. Dear Mr. Know-it-all, it took a while, but I finally got around to reading your response to my letter from a few weeks back. While I appreciate your advice, I had already initiated the conversation with him multiple times prior to your suggestion. It didn't work. Nothing works. If I felt invisible before, I have no idea what this is. Voiceless. Dear Voiceless, to tell you the truth, I almost didn't read your first letter, but I'm glad I did. You see, I've been thinking about your situation, and I've realized that I need to start taking my own advice. I need to start initiating the conversation. It's time you and I found our voices again. We were once happy. Maybe, just maybe, it'll happen again. Sincerely, Mr. Know-it-all. Hey, Anna, it's me. I was just calling to let you know I was on my way home from work. I uh, had a pretty good day today, so... Looking forward to coming home and talking to you about it. Uh, love you, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. How do you start a conversation you know will be the last? The fact that it's so hard to put into words is exactly what makes it so difficult to talk about. I tried to reach you in so many ways. I've been so caught up in trying to fix what was broken that I didn't even realize that there was nothing to fix. With love, voiceless.